Hello everybody and welcome back to Alex Elliott Golf and welcome to the channel if you are a brand new viewer. Don't forget to subscribe and give all this content a thumbs up. So today's video is all about my top three things for great consistency out on the golf course. Now this is something we all strive for, we're all striving to be as consistent as we can be, shoot the lowest scores as we can be and get the best handicap we can. So these are my top three things that will help you achieve that. So how I'm going to prioritise these are, first one's going to be swing thoughts, second one's going to be balance and the third one, probably one of my most important, is pre-shot routine. I'm going to talk you through each of those three stages and why they're important. So let's firstly start with swing thoughts. Now we've all had golf lessons off of your local PJ Pro and very good lesson. You can hit it great out on the driving range, but sometimes when we get onto the golf course, we find it hard to prioritise what swing thought makes us tick. And then we th try thinking of five or six different things, we find it hard to pull the trigger, and we don't achieve the shots we want. We miss off to the left, miss off to the right, and our game isn't as consistent as we want it to be. So what I want you to do is, in terms of swing thoughts, I want you to prioritise in these two swing thoughts. I want you to feel like you've got your backswing swing thought, and then the most important one, this is one that I feel is the most important, is your trigger thought. And what your trigger thought is, that's that thought we have on the way down in order to allow us to hit the golf ball the best we can. So for example, me at the moment, my backswing thought is, I want to feel this golf club as far away as possible on the way back. Then on the way through, I want to feel like I'm hitting, especially with driver, this ball up into the air. I get a little bit steep into the back of the ball, especially with irons and with driver. So my trigger thought is, can I hit this ball up into the air? So you can see that I prioritise my backswing and downswing. So two separate thoughts, but really help me pull that trigger out on the golf course. And I'm not stood over the golf ball thinking, right, I've got to feel this, got to feel this, got to feel this. I'm prioritising too. Now, what I want you to do is, in order to prioritise this, I want you to think back to when you last did a lesson or you last played well. Note down, or note down from your lesson notes, what you felt gave you the best, the best two points, gave you the best chance of hitting great shots out on the golf course. And write them down, take them, put them on a glove, put them on a scorecard, and take them out onto the golf course. And I can assure you, if you prioritise them to one backswing and one downswing, you will hit the ball much better because you've got clarity and you know exactly what you're looking for. So simple, one backswing thought, one downswing thought is exactly what we're going to do. So we've ticked off the first really important point there. Now this leads me on nicely on to the second point, balance. Now, especially with driver, I see this happen a lot. I see a lot of guys so they get the driver out, it's a good excuse to hit it hard. So we get on the tee, we've got trouble left and trouble right. And I see them almost, we're going to hit it harder here because we're, we're almost scared of where this ball is going to go. So we get, on, we get on with it quite quickly. We hit it, we fall over, we lose our balance. Now, you think how hard it is to create impact factors we want to produce the shot that we want. And now we're doing it falling off balance. So if we're falling off and falling backwards here, how hard is it to control what the face is doing? How hard is it to control the path? And then you, you put that into a scenario where we've got to hit a fairway when there's trouble left and right it makes it 10 times harder in order to do that. So this next point is all about, I want you to feel, if you were gonna pose for a photo on a postcard, you would definitely feel like you swing to the top, swing into impact, and we would definitely make sure we're posing that finish for as long as possible. We certainly wouldn't want our postcards to look like we're falling over and unbalanced to impact, and we finish off basically facing our feet here and facing down towards the target this way. I want you to feel like you're making that picture postcard finish. And what I mean by that is, we're gonna feel like we pose it for three seconds after impact. And almost feel like we're gonna trace that ball flight with our eyes as best we can. And I can assure you, that will give you a better chance of creating the impact factors you are looking for out on the golf course. Now, yes, okay, you might feel like to swing a little bit slower, but guess what? Might not, a little bit slower might give you greater consistency out on the golf course. Now, this will be something that you can maybe swing a little bit faster, a little bit faster, until it comes to that point where we are unbalanced, but that's for you to test yourself. But really be aware of being balanced to that finish. And the better balance you have to that finish, the better your consistency will be. So we've covered the first two points. The first point was all about two swing thoughts, backswing and downswing swing thoughts. Prioritize two, no more than two. Keep it fresh and keep it concise out on the golf course. The second point, let's make sure we're nice and balanced to a finish at impact, through to follow through, and there from there we're gonna see some great consistency. This finally leads me on to pre-shot routine, and let's talk about through the thinking zone and the playing zone to help you establish a really nice routine throughout your golf game. So the final point is pre-shot routine. This is something you can adopt throughout chipping, short game, iron play, driver, and putting also. So what I want you to think of this is two separate zones. You've got your playing zone and your thinking zone. So once you step over this red line and this barrier, 
This is where we have our two swing thoughts only. We stand over it, we have three seconds to hit it, and we hit it, and we don't think about too much at all, the two swing thoughts only inside this box. So outside this box, this is where we do all our thinking. So this is where I would pick my club if it was off the tee, or say a par three, or into a shot. This is where I do every single little bit of my thinking. And then I could always do even three or four practice swings in here, really trying to feel very something very technical. So like I said earlier, I'm trying to feel wide on the way back, and hit the ball up into the air on the way through. And I would really feel like I over-exaggerate that feeling in this thinking zone. And a great example of this is you see Alex Norrin. He is very, very technical in the aspect of saying he really over-exaggerates what he's trying to achieve in the golf swing. But I can certainly, I can't justify this, but he would have certainly probably two separate zones. And once he gets over the golf ball, he has some clear, concise thoughts. It's not getting too technical. So, so I'm going to have my thinking zone and my playing zone. And once I step over this playing zone, then we just think of our two swing thoughts and we pull the trigger. So I'm going to give you an example of this now. So I'm going to feel wide, wide again on the way through. And my last, my last shot here, outside in the thinking zone, I'm going to feel like I picture that ball fly I'm trying to achieve, almost like seeing the shot tracer app. I'm going to feel like I picture it all the way down to the target and really give myself a really clear image in my heart, mind. Right, now I've got my feelings, I've got my the shot I'm going to hit, I've got the club, I've done my thinking zone. I step over my red line now, now I'm in the playing zone, I'm in the playing box. I sit over it, get into a nice dress position, I try and one look at the target, my two swing thoughts widen the way back, I feel like I hit the ball up into the air on the way through. Look at the target, pull the trigger and hit. And for me, what I try and do there is spend no more than three to four seconds in this playing zone. If we spend more than that, we start to think about too technically, we have two more looks at target, and then from there, we really lose concise image of what we're trying to achieve. So separate the two zones, the thinking zone, the playing zone. And once you can do that, you'll start to leave all those thoughts outside this zone, and you'll start to have so much more clarity over the golf ball. And if you can do that, we can create greater consistency. So you've got my top three, three keys to greater consistency out on the golf course. Balance, swing thoughts, and pre-shot routine separate your zones, thinking, step, once you step over this barrier, playing zone. And don't be afraid, if you're in this zone here and you feel like you need to go back out, that is no problem. Take a step back out, think about it, but once we're over this playing zone, be really concise over the golf ball and pull that trigger within those three to four seconds. Guys, thank you for watching today's video on Alex Elliott Golf. Don't forget to subscribe and give all this content a thumbs up. Thank you and see you next time on Alex Elliott Golf.